Hey everybody, Jared from the Smoking Android. So what do you get when you combine one of the world's most popular Android custom ROMs with a developer that knows they can take it to the next level? You get Neutrino ROM from Notorious 544D over at XDA Developers. Alright, so it has been a little while since I've done a last, uh, since I last did a video for Notorious. I'm throwing his thread there for everybody to see. So the last I think when, uh, we did was a uh, 2.2 and now we're all the way up to 2.7. So it's been a little bit, big increments there. So getting into the ROM itself, um, some of the new changes in the changelog that uh, we can see in this 2.7 build is um, it's now based off of uh, uh, the nightly 0904, the new CM7.20904. Um, so there's obviously some uh, little bits of tweaks and stuff like that that come with that base ROM right there. Um, but it also comes with things like a new faster CTR on-off animation, like you'll see right here. As you can see there, it's just a little bit quicker. I don't know if you'll notice much of a difference, but it's always nicer to just have a, a faster CRT animation. Um, among some other changes, it's got the new kernel, actually, for those of you that are running an EE or the EE version of the ROM. Um, if you're wondering, I am running the GT version with the 1.3 GHz kernel. Um, it has been updated to the new uh, 025. 4 R, I believe, from Fox123, so it's a new kernel, some new Wi-Fi tweaks and stuff like that. Um, but if you are interested in the EE version, there's also a new kernel for you there. I'm not too sure what the differences are, but I can imagine they're probably positive. One of the changes you'll notice right away is the new, uh, sort of, sorry, the uh, notification bar is now translucent as opposed to being all black before. Something that I'm a bit confused on is in the original post on XDA, on uh, the XDA thread itself, um, it says that it's got uh, Windows 8 fonts, and in the new changelog it says that it has a Roboto light text. I don't know if those are one and the same thing, or if those are completely different. Perhaps you guys can please tell me in the comments below the difference between the two, or if perhaps maybe the, in the changelog it's actually saying that he's changed to the Roboto light font. I'm not too sure, so let me know about that. Um, among some other changes, he's also changed the camera. I can't remember off the top of my head what the... Uh, uh, camera previous to this version was, but um, this is the new MIUI camera and it actually works fantastic. It happens to be a higher quality camera. Um, it, it has touch to focus and some on-screen sort of simple settings there with your um, zoom and the brightness settings and um, and it takes the pictures really quick and great quality so that's a new uh, uh, addition to this particular version of the ROM. Now one thing that he did have before, Notorious had before for us to download was a GPS sort of like a, a script or a, a zip file. I can't remember again, you'll have to check the thread itself but um, uh, he recommended to flash it, he was strongly recommending to flash it um, because it just, I guess it speeds up the uh, GPS lock on your position. Um, but that was sort of an option before. He's actually now set that as a default, which is really, really cool. And in fact, I'll go ahead and show you right now. Let's take a test and see how quickly it um, gets my lock. Or locks onto my position, sorry. There we go. It's starting to acquire my position lock. And we're waiting. And there we go. That was it. And that is exactly where I am. So that was fantastically quick. Other than those um, sort of immediate changes, uh, there's always going to be some, you know, little minor bug fixes in here or there. Um, so he's obviously taking care of those. One thing I do want to mention to those of you that are interested in flashing his theme changer add-on, I want you to keep in mind, and this is something that I've discovered recently, I was actually, uh, for those of you that follow his uh, thread, You'll probably see me in there, J-ROC, J-Rock. Um, I've been wondering about the uh, keyboard, and I uh, didn't do enough reading, apparently. Um, I don't recommend chain, uh, sorry, flashing the theme changer if you want to keep the Notorious, or sorry, the Neutrino ROM theme. Uh, as soon as you flash that theme changer, everything that uh, Neutrino ROM is gone, except for obviously the tweaks and stuff like that. So that's just a bit of a heads up. So now for those of you that are either, you know, new to Neutrino ROM and or new to Sanogen Mod altogether, let's take a look at some of the settings. Um, obviously for those of you that are experienced uh, Neutrino ROM vets, this may not apply to most of you, but um, uh, one thing about Neutrino ROM is that he has, you know, scaled down the ROM considerably um, to help in many different areas with speed and functionality and stuff like that but also in simplicity, and that's one of the things I've always loved about Neutrino ROM is that it's very simplistic in terms of the amount of options that it provides you. Uh, you know, stock, I guess you could say, Sanage Mod 7 has, in my opinion, um, an overload of settings. A lot of the settings that probably 
super expert advanced users or developers would be using themselves. Um, probably about like 80 to 90 percent of us don't even know what a lot of those settings did or does or mean or whatever so we never touch them and you know you jump into Sanjay Mod settings and this thing would just be flooded with things to do. As you can see now we're located uh, you know he's whittled it down to one two three four five six seven settings and these are actually all the settings that people are actually going to use. He's actually taken into consideration, you know, um, what kind of things people are actually going to use and which ones they aren't using. And, and he's removed all the ones that we aren't using. So as you can see there, we have um, just the, as, as far as Sanage Mod settings, applications, display, interface, lock screen, all that good stuff, um, you know, that, that everybody knows and loves. Now, some more specific um, settings options for the Motorola Atrix and more specific to Neutrino ROM. Um, we're going to go down to device settings. And obviously not native to San Engine Mod, um, we actually now have the option to, uh, and this comes automatically with um, landscape HDMI mirroring. We all love the uh, HDMI out port on our devices and we've always wanted to use it to mirror onto our television screen for playing games and whatever, right? Um, but one of the big problems was that we always had to have a little screw around or a hack around. You had to muck around a bit to um, get the HDMI audio to switch over to your television as opposed to uh, just sticking onto your device. Um, you know, in the past builds, we've had a couple of things where you would like long press on the Google search bar and then the option would pop up to change it. But now he's actually integrated into the ROM itself, into the Sanage Mod settings. Um, so. Uh, all you got to do is just as soon as you plug it in, you now have the option to either keep the audio on your phone or just check that box there and it'll switch over to your television. So that's really nice. Um, another thing that is not obviously uh, native to Sanjay Mod is the fingerprint sensor. Um, so we've got that as a navigator now. You can obviously, there's all kinds of things. You can use that as a mouse. It's actually... Um, uh, the drivers, it's just a very smooth feeling now, whereas before in previous versions it wasn't as smooth for me, but now it's actually it's quite pleasant to use, so again, that's up to you. Um, I don't use it personally myself too often, but um, again, that, that's totally up to you. Um, and something that, again, isn't uh, native to Sandage Mod 7 is the dock. Uh, so now we've got settings built right into the ROM to, as soon as you plug in your device to the uh, media dock or your car dock, um, you're good to go right then and there. So those are just some of the uh, more specific Sanage Mod settings, um, or sorry, it's more specific to Neutrino ROM. Um, so thank you very much to Notorious 544D over at XDA Developers for, uh, again, developing this ROM for all of us. And if you haven't done so already, if you're going to go and download this ROM, make sure you click that thanks button underneath him because I would really love to see this guy um, become a recognized, or sorry, get recognized developer status on XDA. He definitely deserves it, and you all know he does. Um, but other than that, guys, that is basically it for this ROM. Oh, actually, that's not true. I'm going to mention a couple other things. Um, so, very clean looking font, so I do like that. Um, but again, this is not the uh, stock Neutrino ROM keyboard. It is integrated into Neutrino ROM. Just don't flash the theme changer if you want to keep that because it will disappear. I'm not even going to start getting into how much trouble I went through trying to get that keyboard back. Um, that's a whole other story for a whole other day. Now, Neutrino ROM does come stock with Launcher Pro. Um, I actually, at the moment, prefer ADWX, which is what I'm using here. Um, no, these icons are not stock to Neutrino ROM. Again, these are just customizations because I've been using it for a couple of days now. One thing I do want to mention, the battery life um, in the GT version with this 1.3, sorry, 1.3 gigahertz kernel has been absolutely fantastic. I've been using this all day, screwing around, flashing stuff, um, you know, testing out apps, things like that. And um, we're only at 70% now, and I took it off the charger at about uh, 9 o'clock this morning, and it's at, uh, uh, and we're 3 o'clock now, so um, we're doing pretty good so far. And of course, if you do want to get that uh, better battery performance, you're going to want to flash the EE version. But anyways, guys, that is it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed this little review of the newest Neutrino ROM version 2.7. So hopefully he stops releasing more versions for the gingerbread ROM, the best gingerbread ROM for your Motorola Atrix, and starts releasing beta versions of Sanjin Mod 9 Neutrino ROM. So anyways, again, that's it. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, kapow, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one in the future, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, the Smoking Android, signing out.